It's 6.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and Eileen Paik is doing what she does every Saturday. She drives three and a half hours from Alamosa to the Colorado Springs Petco with dogs from her San Luis Valley Animal Shelter to set up an adoption fair. It's a nine-hour round trip that she's been making every weekend for nearly 15 years, all in the hopes that even one of the dogs that she's rescued in the San Luis Valley will find a new home on the Front Range. The San Luis Valley Animal Welfare Society is a rescue facility that Eileen and her husband Frank decided to open after they moved to the area and found so many animals in desperate need of care. We moved here about 20 years ago into the San Luis Valley and we found that there was not an animal welfare society in, in this whole 8,000 square mile valley. We started seeing homeless animals here, there, and everywhere and began to take them in and eventually that led to getting this um, Battle Mountain mine property for a shelter. The couple has had to deal with the challenges that an impoverished community presents and funding has always been an issue. So when Frank and Eileen found the perfect property for their facility, they did the unthinkable. When my realtor friend brought us up here, I could envision this wonderful shelter, so we mortgaged our house to get it. <laughs> Today, the property houses their no-kill shelter, which is home to an average of 50 dogs and puppies at a time. It has seven dog parks, heated outdoor kennels, and inside rooms for dogs in heat or inclement weather. The space allows Eileen and Frank to give the rescued dogs a happy and healthy foster home. You know, we can't have them sitting in kennels all day, so we try to do two shifts every day to get many of the dogs out into the parks and alternate days because they need to get out and run. While the shelter has given the animals a good quality of life, finding funding in the San Luis Valley is a constant issue. Rescued animals are often in need of spay and neutering or are wounded from abuse. The cost of fixing or rehabilitating the animals is extremely high. The biggest challenge really is uh, funding. Our shelter's in the poorest county of all 64 counties in Colorado. And a lot of people live below the poverty level. And so we've tried some fundraisers in the valley here and gotten very, very little money. So our biggest challenge is getting enough money to keep on going. The lack of funding in the valley is why Eileen now finds herself spending nine hours getting to the springs and home every Saturday. She rotates the Welfare Society dogs, taking 25 at a time, hoping to not only find a home for them, but also to spread the word and collect donations to support the 25 additional animals waiting back in the valley. Their commitment has touched many of the people that they've come across during those long Saturdays in Colorado Springs. They take the time, the energy, the everything to prep and come here with 20 to 40 dogs is amazing. They really do so much. I'm overwhelmed. Trying to be a voice for them, trying to get them the right home, trying to get them adopted, driving three hours to get them adopted and three hours home every Saturday. All of that, it's, it's, it's definitely a special organization to me. Having compassion and taking in strays has been a way of life for Eileen and Frank Pay, who have demonstrated kindness beyond what very few of us can ever begin to imagine. To them, it's simple. Every life means something. And when a homeless animal becomes a family pet, all the time, effort, energy, and money are worth the investment. It's a mission that is worth our support. Making a donation will take just a moment. Eileen and Frank will do the rest. Mm -hmm.